Look at my stats in the conference finals. 47 points a game, 4 rebounds, and 9 assists, and we're about to get swept, bro. But Jeremy Grant, if he can get that off, he does. He stays perfect for the night. He is 4 for 4, I believe. Can he hustle from downtown? It's good! Kendrick Williams extends the lead to 7. He knocks down a shot. My teammates are hitting shots so far. Can he hustle? Wide open once again. It's good! Kendrick Williams gives us a 12-point lead. Give me that. That's another steal and transition. That's the fourth of the game. And the Hornets go up by 18. And I tipped it. That's another one. Cedric Lewis is on something else in this game. The Hornets up 20 in the first half. And they're going to double team. I'm going to kick it out. Jeremy Grant knocks down another one. He's got 21 in the game. Oh, this could be the triple-double right here. And it is. 51-point triple-double for Cedric. We are in quite the hole. Down zero games to three to the one seed of Miami Heat. We're going to be fighting to stay alive here on our home court. We don't want the Heat to win on our home court, let's be honest. But I also kind of want to fast-track to the offseason so we can kind of rebuild, retool this team a little bit. Like I said in the previous episodes, I get three off-season free agent suggestions so that doesn't mean i'm guaranteed the player that means i am allowed to offer three players of my choosing a contract and the rest will be automated same thing starting this off-season going into the regular season i get three trade suggestions so i'm allowed to trade for three players of my choice and if i can't put a trade together and the team declines that that's a trade suggestion it goes away so starting in the off season i will get those three trade suggestions throughout the season if i don't use them in the off season i can use them in the regular season you you get it. if i use them in the off season i'm not allowed to use them in the regular season if i use all three which i probably won't anyways uh cedric lewis had a struggle last game won't lie uh 12 for 30 from the field i could not get anything going in the paint uh bam had it locked down they actually had jimmy guarding me in this game this time and it just didn't go well. Uh, once again, Cedric Lewis gets no help whatsoever besides from Aiton. Aiton's been the only player on this team that gets help, that gives us help. He had seven offensive rebounds, but defensively, he was he's a huge liability. Uh, Jeremy Grant actually had a really, really solid game. He heard the trade rumors. You most likely will still be getting traded, Jeremy. But if you're going to put up stats like this, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Uh, Lamel Ball. My God, dude, he's so bad. We threw a Terry Rogier in the starting lineup this game. One for seven, three points. And we're running an eight-man rotation. So it's just disappointing. Nick Richards actually, for the first time in these playoffs, had a pretty bad game. And defensively, yeah, Bam out of bio. 24 points, 11 rebounds, two steals, and all three blocks, I believe, were on me. Hero still balled out. He had 23 points. Jimmy Butler only had 21. Uh, but Lowry had 17. Old Depot had 16. And Martin had 11. So a lot of players in double digits. And as you can see, we lost by 23. And here are the stats for Sanders UK. I know, uh, I think the games one and two, I accidentally selected a win. If not, I only did it for game two. So if we end up getting eliminated here, or no matter what the series ends, Sanders UK is going to be messed up because it's going to have us actually winning a game. So let's if we get swept here and it takes me to game five, I'm just going to put in all zeros for my stats and have it as a loss, and hopefully it takes us to the next season. But these are all the stats we did not win, so let's accept it. And that is it right there. It doesn't actually show us win-loss um, over here. So game four is what we're heading into right now. Let's see if we can avoid elimination or we'll we be heading to Cancun. Here we are back on our home court down zero games to three to the one-seeded Miami Heat. And like I said, they're the one of the only teams that gave us a struggle in the regular season. So it makes sense they are continuing to struggle. And the Heat are now only a game away from their second NBA Finals in the Jimmy Butler era. It's been great for him. Melo Ball, bro. We need a good game out of you, LaMelo. We need a good game. I need to be better now that they have Jimmy guarding me. And I'm going to get an easy... Nope, not an easy bucket. Aiton, though, on the offensive board starting off good. Oh, that's a bucket from downtown. Cedric Lewis knocking down his first three. All right, I'm going to put some defensive settings on for Tyler Hero because... Terry Rozier is just sagging off on him so much that it's it's causing an issue. It is causing an issue. I got to switch to Lowry on me. I'm going to go. Oh, Jimmy Butler played that so well. They're going to have eight and come set the screen. I hate when they do that. 
Lamelo Ball takes the hook shot. It is off, but Aiton on the offensive boards is having a strong game so far. One positive I can say on 2K's end, Jimmy Butler is playing like Jimmy Butler. Like, usually in 2K, Jimmy Butler is not great. He's playing like he does in real life with these pump fakes, post fadeaways, all that stuff. So, I think I have the sliders, the sliders I currently have, I think I have them to a T. I think I might have the perfect sliders for this, uh, for the right difficulty. But yeah, Jimmy Butler is playing like Jimmy Butler does, and I like that. Look at my stats in the conference finals. 47 points a game, 4 rebounds, and 9 assists, and we're about to get swept, bro. But Jeremy Grant, if he can get that off, he does. He stays perfect for the night. He is 4 for 4, I believe. We're going to keep spamming this pick and roll with Jeremy Grant, and he's going to keep knocking it down. Kenny Hustle from downtown. It's good. Kendrick Williams extends the lead to 7. He knocks down a shot. My teammates are hitting shots so far. That's all I can ask for. Lamelo hit a transition 3 down the court. I get another steal. The second one of the game. And the Hornets are off on a run. He essentially goes 15 first half points. And my teammates are hitting their shots much needed. Not much defense, but I mean, if we can score more points than them, that, that's all we really need. Oh, uh, Chris Duarte in the corner. It's off. I'm on the break. I'm on the break. Um, taking a bad shot. Oh, I okay. I can still keep dribbling. Kenny Hustle, wide open once again. It's good. Kendrick Williams gives us a 12-point lead. Give me that. Another steal. Third one of the game. And that is going to be the end of the first 45 first half, first quarter. First quarter points. They did score 31. So we have a pretty comfortable cushion here going into the second quarter. I do get subbed out. Jimmy Butler's back in the game, though. Jimmy Butler's back in the game. Let's see how our bench does. And we're up by 13. Boys, we might be getting game five. Give me that. That's another steal and transition. That's the fourth of the game. And the Hornets go up by 18. Two minutes left in this first half. 73 first half points. And Oh, I didn't anticipate it there. I was about to say they don't learn their lesson. And I tipped it. That's another one. Cedric Lewis is on something else in this game. The Hornets up 20 in the first half. We're going to hold for the last shot of the first half. 75 first half points for the Charlotte Hornets. 27 points in the first quarter. Make it 29 for Cedric Lewis. Five rebounds, nine assists, and I believe five steals in the first half and the Hornets are up 55 to 77 going into halftime there's no way you blow this lead right oh my god another steal for Cedric keep cutting it and you got um not LaMelo Tyler Hero on your 24 point lead and that's a double double for Cedric and they're gonna double team I'm gonna kick it out Jeremy Grant knocks down another one he's got 21 in the game Jeremy Grant Putting up numbers right now. Giving the Hornets a 35-point lead, bro. This is so unexpected. Was not expecting this type of offensive explosion from this team. I am getting contributions, man. This is all I asked for. I just wish we could have got this all playoffs. I mean, all this series. And that's going to be our ball. Yo, give me that. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Give, 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 give. No way. I didn't get that. Oh my god, that would have been steal number 7. 2K, bro. You got to be better. All right, I'm going to sub down here. We're up by 29. All right. I don't see any word where this lead is less. Yeah, it's it's a 28. I mean, it's technically less. But we're getting a game 5. I'm looking for 50, and I'm getting it. 51 points for Cedric Lewis. I'm one rebound away from a triple-double, and I am three steals away from a quadruple-double. I'm not going to get it. But, I mean, hey, I found Oh, this could be the triple-double right here, and it is. 51-point triple-double for Cedric Lewis. You'll love to see it. I got DeMarcus Cousins on me, too. That's barbecue chicken alert. Brandon Boston hit this knockdown three to end him. Okay. 29 points in the first half. 28 points in the second half. I have missed a total of, I believe, what, five shots all game? Five shots I've missed all game on 57-point triple-double. This is the type of game we needed to stay alive in this series. I only held Jimmy to a look. Oh, I'm getting subbed out. It's 48 seconds left, man. You're not going to let me farm. I've held Jimmy to possibly under 25 points, which was my goal 
We're up by 31 points. And we're about to take at least a game. At least we won't get swept. All right, we don't know what game five is going to be. Uh, but we have life. One game at a time. Jimmy Butler's not hitting that. Anyway, one game at a time. We do have life here. And we are going to stay alive in these playoffs. Cedric Lewis thought I was going to hit that. Not going to lie. Terry here or easy float over Terry. Terry has been awful, bro. Terry Rozier has been god awful, man. I tell you what. Mellow ball, please don't pass it, man. I want to try and get 60. Let me try and get 60. Let me try and get 60 here. Yeah, not happening, bro. He, he was taking too long. Anyways, we're going to win game five on our home floor. 108 to 137. The offense was clicking tonight. We are not dead yet. Final box score, Cedric Lewis, bro. What a stat line. 57 points, 11 rebounds, 16 assists, 7 steals, and a block on 2 turnovers. Missing 7 shots all night. 19 for 26 from the field, 4 for 6 from 3, 15 of 15 from the free throw line. That, I think, by far is the greatest stat line in playoff history. In this playoff run, Cedric now has, I believe, 58, 57, and 56 points. I will fact check that, and I am correct. 58. 56 and now 57 jeremy grant bro back-to-back -back games came to play at 18 last game on good shooting and this game has 31 points with three steals on 14 of 20 three of six from downtown that is a jeremy grant i thought well some games i thought i was gonna get not this 2.1 for seven this is a jeremy grant i needed lamella ball we needed it we got it 22 points three rebounds seven assists did have five turnovers Shot very, very efficient. And even though we dominated them, we still only had three players scoring, really, in double digits. Besides Aiden, who only had 10, but he didn't get many shots. So it's we're getting the same exact formula that we that got us down 0-3. It's just three players scoring, and that's it. But this time, we play defense. 30 points from Adebayo, not much you can do about it. Aiden's just not a great defender. In the offseason, we're going to have to look for probably a power forward um that can you know defend the rim alongside him jimmy butler only had 23 points and hero only had 19 and they didn't have a single player above double digits that is our formula to win i mean these guys if these guys are gonna go for you know 20 plus points each i need this to happen or i need to score like 60 that it's that simple anyways that's gonna be for me gg